Hi everyone, uh, welcome back sa aking channel na GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will uh, discuss another uh, addition and subtraction of fractions na problem. So meron tayong uh, 10 items dito. So yan, uh, screenshot nyo muna or ipost nyo muna. Uh, then try nyo muna ang sagutan bago panood din ang aking solution. So para po sa mga marami pang mga problems about sa fraction, uh, itype nyo lang po fractions tapos GTR Math Tutorial sa YouTube. Marami na pong lalabas dyan na mga videos about fractions. Okay, so meron pong mga choices ito. So yan, isa-isahin natin. 1 to 10. Sagutan na natin. So tigdadalwa po yan. Okay, so let's start with number 1 and 2. 1 half minus 1 third. And then number 2, 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth. So ang gagamitin nating technique sa pag-add or subtract ng fraction ay dalawang method. So kapag dalawahan, pwede tayong gumamit ng butterfly technique. Kapag tatluhan naman, so or sa dalawahan, yung LCD ang gagamitin natin. Okay? So yung butterfly, maganda lang siyang gamitin para sa dalawa. Kasi pag tatluhan, ang pag ginamitan natin ng butterfly itong number 2, iba butterfly natin itong dalawa muna, and then yung sagot, iba butterfly natin dito sa pangatlo. So parang naging mahaba na. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin, basta dalawa butterfly, tapos kapag tatluhan naman, ang gagamitin ko naman ay uh, LCD. Okay, so let's start with number 1. 1 half minus 1 third. So, butterfly technique ang gagamitin natin. 1 half minus 1 third. So, paano ba yung butterfly? So, kinocross multiply lang po yan. Yan, 1 times, uh, 1 times 3. Tapos, itong kabila. And then, meron pa tayo ditong uh, yan. And then, so, pag ginawa natin butterfly, dito natin ilalagay yung mga sagot. 1 times 3. So, we have 3. And then 2 times 1, so we have 2. And then minus, so lagi natin dito yung minus. And then multiply natin itong 2 times 3, so that is equal to 6. So therefore, the final answer will be 3 minus 2, so that is equal to 1. And then 6, so 1 over 6 ang answer natin for number 1, which is letter C. Okay, so kapag tatluhan naman, ang gagamitin naman natin dito ay LCD. So ang gagawin natin, i-convert natin ang bawat fraction sa same denominator. So, magkakaibang denominator natin, 2, 3, and 4. So, kailangan gawin natin pare-parehas ang denominator natin para magi siyang similar. So, ng LCD ng 2, 3, and 4, so, ang LCD, LCD niyan ay 12. Since 12 ay pwedeng i-divide ang 2, 3, at 4. Okay, so, gawin natin 12 lahat ng denominator. So, kopyahin lang natin yung tatlong fraction. Ah, gawin natin 12. Copy the sign. So, yan, over 12 na lahat ang kanilang denominator, tapos solve natin ang numerator. So, to solve the numerator, ang gagawin lang natin, i-divide natin ito. 12 divided by 2, so that is equal to 6. And then yung 6, i-multiply natin dito sa numerator. 6 times 1, so that is equal to 6. So, next, we have 12 divided by 3, so that is equal to 4. And then, multiply the numerator, so puro 1 naman ang numerator natin. So, we have 4 times 1, so that is equal to 4. And then, last, 12 divided by 4, that is equal to 3. And then, multiply the numerator, so we have 3. And then, since similar fraction na yan, just add the numerator, add lang natin itong numerator, 6 plus 4 plus 3, that is equal to 13. And just copy the common denominator, 12. So, the answer is 13 over 12, which is letter D. Okay, so ayan ang dalawang technique natin. Pag dalawahan ay butterfly, kapag tatluhan naman ay LCD. So itong LCD, syempre, pwede rin yan dito sa dalawahan. Okay, so next number, 3 and 4. Okay, so for number 3, so we have 1, one half plus 4 over 5. So gamitin natin ang butterfly. So butterfly tayo dito sa number 3. So, okay, so cross multiply lang tayo. Cross multiply and then multiply din natin itong denominator. Okay, so we have 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. 2 times 4, that is equal to 8. So, i-plus lang natin yan. 5 plus 8, that is equal to 13. And then, multiply the denominator, 2 times 5, that is equal to 10. So, therefore, the answer is letter C, 13 over 10. Okay, so next for number 4, so what is the LCD? Least common multiple ng denominator natin, 3, 6, and 4. So, lahat yan pwedeng i-divide sa 12. So, kagaya kanina. So, 12 din. So, gawin natin over 12 lahat. So, just copy the sign. Ang denominator, gagawin natin lahat na 12. So, 12 divided by 3. That is equal to 4. Imo-multiply natin ang numerator. 4 times 1. So, we have 4. 
Next, 12 divided by 6, that is equal to 2. Then multiply the numerator, 2 times 5, we have 10. And then last, 12 divided by 4, that is equal to 3. And then multiply, 3 times 3, we have 9. So just add the numerator, uh, copy the denominator, add lang natin ang numerator, 4 plus 10 plus 9, that is equal to 23. So therefore, the correct answer is letter A, 23 over 12. Okay, so next number, number 5. So we have 1 fourth plus 1 fifth plus 1 sixth. So parehas tatluan. So ang gagamitin natin, uh, LC, LCD parehas. So what is the LCM ng denominator natin? 4, 5, and 6. So pag ganito, laging maliliit na number lang naman. Nagsisimula ako lagi sa 6. Isip tayo ng multiples ng 6 na pwede sa 4 tsaka sa 5. So multiply natin muna itong... Uh, pag minultiply natin, 6 times 4... Uh, 24, hindi pwede yung 5. So, kapag sa 5 naman, 6 times 5, 30. So, yung 30, hindi pa divisible sa 4. So, therefore, ang tamang factor, ang tamang uh, LCM natin, 6 times 5, 30. Tapos, from 30, doon tayo magsimula sa multiple ng 30. So, 30, ang susunod sa 30 ay 60. So, ang 60, divisible na yung 4. So, therefore, ang LCM natin ay, or ang LCD ay 60. So, i-convert natin lahat sa denominator na 60. Okay, so then, ang process, divide lang natin, 60 divided by 4, that is equal to 15. O, multiply natin. So, lahat ng numerator pala, 1. So, kung ano, yung, kung ano pala yung dinivide natin, yun na yung sagot. So, 60 divided by 4, that is 15. Times 1, 15 pa rin. 60 divided by 5, that is equal to 12. 12 times 1, so we have 12. And then, last 60 divided by 6, that is equal to 10. Times 1, so we have 10. Then add the numerator, 15 plus 12 plus 10, that is equal to, 15 plus 12 is 27 plus 10, so that is equal to 37, and then copy the den common denominator, 60. So ayun na yung answer natin, letter B, 37 over 60, wala na siyang lowest term. Okay, so next number, 1, 6 plus 1, 4 plus 1 over 12, so obvious naman, so lagi tayong titingin sa pinakamalaking number, pinakamalaking number natin, 12. Okay, so yun na agad ang LCM natin kasi ang 12 ay divisible sa 6 at divisible din sa 4. Okay, so ang denominator natin, gawin lang nating 12 lahat. Just copy the sign, parehas plus. So we have 12 lahat ang denominator natin. Okay, so 12 divided by 6, so that is equal to 2 times 1. So we have 2. 12 divided by 4, that is 3 times 1, the numerator 3. And then 12, since 12 to Basta parehas lang yan, kopyahin lang natin yan, 1 over 12. Okay, and then add the numerator, 2 plus 3 plus 1, that is equal to 6 over 12. And then kung mapapansin nyo, wala sa choices ang 6 over 12 dahil pwede pa itong ilowest term. So saan pwedeng i-divide ang 6 and 12? So pwede siyang i-divide parehas sa 6. So therefore, final answer, 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 12 divided by 6 is 2. Final answer is 1 half, which is letter C. Okay, so next number, 7 and 8. Okay, so dalawahan lang, number 7, 1, 6 plus 1, 8. Kapag dalawahan, gamitin na lang natin yung butterfly technique para mabilis. Shortcut lang yan. Okay, so 1 times 8, that is equal to 8. 6 times 1, that is equal to 6. So add lang natin yan. 8 plus 6, that is equal to 14 over the product. 6 times 8, that is equal to 48, kung mapapansin nyo, wala sa choices dahil pwede pang i-divide ang 14 and 48. Parehas yung even number, so automatic, divisible yan by 2. So pag dinivide natin parehas sa 2, 14 divided by 2 is 7, 40, 48 divided by 2 is 24. So therefore, the correct answer is letter D, 7 over 24. Okay, so for number 8, so tatluhan, so mag-LCD tayo, so laging... Basta, basta tatluan, tingnan nyo lagi yung pinakamalaking number, 12. So, yung 12, pwede nang i-divide sa 4 at sa 6. So, therefore, ang LCM na natin or LCD ay 12. Okay, so, kopyain lang yung mga 12, pati yung mga sign, gawing 12 ang denominator. So, minus, and then 12 din ito, and then 6. So, uh, or 6 plus ito, so plus, then 12 din ito. Okay, so 12 divided by 12. Okay, so since parehas 12, so kopihin lang natin yung numerator na 11. Okay, so next 12 divided by 4, that is equal to 3. And then multiply the numerator, 3 times 3, we have 9. And then we have 12 
divided by 6, that is equal to 2. Multiply the numerator, 2 times 5, we have 10. So therefore, what is now the final answer? So subtract muna natin, 11 minus 9, that is equal to 2. So pag pinagsama itong dalawa, pag pinagsama itong dalawa, 2, or pinagsubtract, 11 minus 9 is 2. And then add natin itong pangatlo, 2 plus 10, so we have 12 over 12. So syempre, parehas ang numerator at denominator, 12 divided by 12, that is equal to 1. So correct answer is letter A, 1. Okay, so last, number 9 and 10. Okay, so for number 9, so dalawa lang siya, 2 third minus 1 half. So pag dalawa lang, pinakamagandang gamitin ay butterfly technique. Okay, 2 times 2, we have 4. What is the sign? So we have minus, 3 times 1, we have 3. And then, the, multiply the denominator, 3 times 2 is 6. So therefore, the answer is 4 minus 3, we have 1. And then, the denominator is 6. The final answer is letter C, 1, 6. Okay, last number, number 10. 2 third plus 1 fourth plus 5 over 6. So, magsimula tayo dito sa 6. So, syempre, yung 6 hindi pa divisible by 4 and 3. So, multiple ng 6 dapat, so 12. So, yung 12 ay divisible na ang 3 at 4. Therefore, ang denominator natin dapat ay 12. So, parehas positive. So, yan, gawin natin 12 ang denominator natin. Then, solve for the numerator. 12 divided by 3, that is equal to 4. Multiply by 2, that is equal to 8. 12 divided by 4, that is equal to 3. Times 1, so we have 3. And then 12 divided by 6, that is equal to 2. Times 5, we have 10. So therefore, final answer, just add. 8 plus 3 is 11. Plus 10 is equal to... Uh, 8 plus 3, 11. Plus 10, 21. Over 12. So wala sa choices. Dahil pwede pa siyang i-lowest term. Okay? So i-lowest term natin... 21 at 12, parehas divisible yan by 3. Okay? So, divide parehas by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter D, 7 over 4. Okay? So, that's all. So, I hope nagustuhan yung explanation ko para sa addition and subtraction of fractions. So, kung ito yung uh, first time nyo, huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe. Okay? So, marami pa po tayong videos ng uh, Fractions, so itype nyo lang po, ulitin natin, itype nyo lang uh, fractions or operation on fractions, then fractions, tapos ilagay nyo GTR Math Tutorial, ito, GTR Math Tutorial, fractions, GTR Math Tutorial, itype nyo lang sa YouTube yan, marami na po kayong makikitang mga reviewer para sa, or mga videos tungkol sa fraction. Okay, so again, uh, thank you for watching and kita-kita tayo sa mga susunod pang mga math reviewer. Kung meron kayong math question, ay comment nyo lang po dito sa aking channel, pwede rin sa aking FB group, or i-DM nyo ako sa aking messenger na RJ Ensenyado. Bye-bye and God bless.